Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. And we're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, what has been going on in the recent past, what's the challenge, who you might be dealing with, and where it's all headed. So let's jump right in for Aries. Messages for Aries regarding love. What does Aries need to know, Spirit? What does Aries need to know for Aries? For Aries. What's been going on for Aries in love? What's going on for Aries in love? What can Aries expect when it comes to love? Oh, I got two. Wow, the tower and the star. Aquarius energy with the star. Maybe you're healing from a tower. Maybe a tower recently took place or is kind of unfolding right now. I feel like you have hope despite what's happening or you are just able to heal. What's going on with this tower? Spirit, why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? I feel like this was a tower that maybe you weren't ready for, Aries. The Fool and the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This could have been a breakup, a separation. I'm also getting like a weird message that's trying to like climb in. <laughs> but I, I'm trying to ignore it because it's so specific. It could be that someone has been resisting you, resisting this connection, and something has changed. Something unexpected has happened to help someone change. Change their mind, change their approach. Tell me about the star. Why is the star here? For Aries, why is the star here? Yeah, Ten of, uh, of Wands. So whatever this was, this tower, if it hasn't happened yet, it's going to be happening around October time frame. It's going to be difficult. But... I, I, I just with the star here, it's almost like don't lose faith, don't lose hope. It's going to be okay. There will be healing from this. Tell me about the tower. I mean, not the tower. <laughs> Tell me about the energy for Aries in love. I'm so focused on this tower. <laughs> Tell me about the energy for Aries in love, Spare. What does Aries need to know? What's the energy surrounding Aries? Cold shoulder, distance, coldness, silence. Someone's feeling shut out. This could have been a separation. Like something could have happened in a connection. Secret admire, intrigue, watchful attraction. You've caught someone's eye. Yeah, I feel like you're not together with this person. Whoever is showing up here in your energy, you're not together. Perhaps because of this tower. What else? What else is the energy for Aries regarding love? What's been going on for Aries in love? Carriage, arrival, moment, travel, movement, travel. Some, someone could be wanting to visit you to make a move here. Bottom of the deck is hi-ho, work, effort, dedication. Yeah, this could be that somebody wants to work on things with you and is willing to come over to talk, come over to discuss it, make some sort of move towards you. What's been going on in the recent past for Aries in love? What's been going on in the recent past? For Aries in love. Yeah, Three of Swords. So it has been painful. There's been heartache. There's been difficulty, Aries, when it comes to love. Where I am speaking to an Aries where that's the case. Tell me more. What's been going on for the recent past here? For 
for Aries regarding love, recent past energy. King of Wands, Ace of Cups, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like you're still in love or you're still interested in someone, but maybe it's been very painful, difficult. Something has happened in the connection despite there being love. Love is not the problem. There's other things that are the problem. What's the challenge for Aries? You could be dealing with another fire sign as well. What's the challenge for Aries, Spirit? What's the challenge for Aries in love? Justice. Something is not fair, not balanced. Something feels unfair, feels unjust. Libra energy there. There might be legal issues as well, legal challenges or challenges in like an official capacity, like a government institution or something like that. Work institution. What's the challenge? Okay, yeah, something is not fair for you, Aries. Something doesn't feel fair. Something has not worked out for you, hasn't been working out for you. Maybe you feel like there's no movement forward. There's no change happening that needs to happen. Who is Aries dealing with? Spirit, who is Aries dealing with at this time? Who is Aries dealing with? Two of Cups, someone that feels like a soulmate. That Two of Cups showed up again. So whoever you're having an issue with, perhaps, because the Two of Cups came out with the Fool earlier. This person could be um, a soulmate of some sort. Who is Aries dealing with? Nine of Pentacles. Yes, so this person is interested in you, but I feel like there's a block here. Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Wands also showed up here. So I'm thinking block, 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 right? There's a resistance. There's a Fool again. So the Fool is about taking risks, taking leaps of faith, especially with this, the star here. Um, new beginnings, new starts. But there's a block. Can I get one more for this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? Can I get one more, please, Spirit? What else do we need to know about this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, timing, patience, something being resolved slowly, finding balance. I feel like this person, whoever they are, okay, there's the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, and the Five of Wands. This is someone that you've had difficulty with, Aries. This is, I feel, someone that might have hurt you in the past with the Three of Swords here in the Tower. There has been a lot of pain and heartache and difficulty here. The Ten of Wands is like burdens, obligations, a weight that holds down this connection. With Cold Shoulder, I almost get like you're not really in communication or together. Something feels unfair, like... You know, like it's not happening the way that you hoped. Um, I feel like this person is slowly, something slowly happening with this person. Maybe they want to bring balance back to this situation. Maybe they want to uh, resolve an issue. But I don't see action on their part, you know, and it's probably because of this. Whatever this is, this five of wands, five of pentacles there's a, a high priestess right after that so it's almost like this is someone that doesn't want to speak doesn't want to you know they they admire you from afar but they don't want to do anything um in the moment let's get a ps i love you for them what do we need to know about this person's energies towards aries What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Aries? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Aries? Taking charge. So they might be taking action here with taking charge. Regretting the past is the bottom of the deck. But the temperance card is telling me that if they are taking action, it won't be quickly. I get one more for this person. 
What are their energies towards Aries at this time, Spirit? Please wait for me just a little bit longer. Exactly. That's the energy that I was getting. It's like it's not going to be right now. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while to develop. It's going to take a while to develop if I could speak. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is expressing feelings. So this could be somebody that is going to open up because they've been quiet. They've been giving you the cold shoulder or they've been feeling shut out apart from you. And it's like now I'm ready to speak up, right? I'm ready to express how I feel to Aries. Um, so where is all of this headed in the near future? Spirit, what can Aries expect next when it comes to this person? this situation what can Aries expect next when it comes to this person this situation what can Aries expect next when it comes to this person or this situation what can Aries expect this one? King of Swords, okay. Some sort of communication. Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. Bottom of the deck is the Empress. I feel like this person wants to communicate here. And I do feel like whoever this is with the Eight of Pentacles, they might want to work something out with you. Please ignore my finger. It has like, <laughs> I got like a bunch of ink on it. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely somebody that wants to communicate. That expressing feelings energy that we got. Um, definitely. I, I definitely see that for you, Aries. And the Knight of Pentacles. Again, this is not someone that's going to act quickly, act rashly. They, the Knight of Pentacles takes their time. Doesn't rush anything. I feel like this connection has gone through a lot. I don't think that this connection would benefit from things happening quickly, things not being really discussed or resolved. I feel like there's obviously something that needs to be discussed with the tower and healing that needs to happen with the star because there's a lot that happened here. I feel like this was like a fight or I don't know, maybe it just got to be too much for someone and it's like the tower happened. Uh, maybe there was someone that was physically blocked or separated from another person or like you blocked someone's phone number or something like that. Let me know if that's resonating for you, Aries. But it's because it was really painful for someone. There was a lot of heartache and disappointment here with the Three of Swords. And despite there being interest and love with the Ace of Cups and the King of Wands, it's like, was that enough? To overcome all of the difficulties and challenges in this connection i don't think so because we have the tower here and the three of swords so it's almost like despite the love and the attraction and all of that there was a lot of pain here so i think that this connection would not benefit from someone taking risks and just moving quickly like i feel like it would take time to you know heal resolve move forward all of that um, and I feel like Aries throughout this whole situation, you something was unfair to you or you feel like something has been unfair. Um, maybe you feel like spirit has turned their back on you. Maybe you feel like just nothing is working out the way that I hoped. Nothing is working out the way that, you know, I want it to. And I do feel like this person does is interested in you and recognizes a special connection here. But before they take charge, there, there's going to be a little bit of time. I mean, I hate to say it because who really wants to wait around? But that's what that's the energy that's coming out here. Taking charge and please wait for me just a little bit longer. So you're going to have to wait for them, Aries. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.